Welcome back to the plush well-lit facilities here at Unibyte Labs. So we're back at it today with the JDS 6600 and we're, today we're going to deal with the the oscillator. Now if you look up there in the corner uh, you'll see the frequency here is 9,999,885. Well we're actually trying to put out 10 megahertz. So that's that's the other flaw with this thing. Is that, is that little tiny little crystal in here? This little thing here is it's just not all that accurate, and I'd rather get it a little bit more accurate. So what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace it with with this one here, as I said before. So I've got this little this little daughter board, and I'm going to mount this crystal to, and then this crystal mount onto this header here. We're going to cut a little that little trace there scrape a little bit off of the solder mask and then solder on a little wire to come up to the output which is right here and uh, that should work for us so let me show you how accurate this particular crystal is it's a 24 megahertz crystal and I just got to switch over here You can see it's coming in at uh, 24 plus or minus, about plus 1.5 hertz. So it's, it's off by less than one part in 10 million. So that's, that's pretty good. That's a heck of a lot better than being off by 100 hertz or 100, what was it, 115 hertz. And uh, let me show you exactly what the crystal in the little JDS here is, is doing. Instead of putting out 24 megahertz. Just got to get my probe attached here. And then we'll find an appropriate place here to probe this. Now you can see here it's it's off by 145 hertz. So 1.5 hertz is a lot better than 145 hertz. It's in fact it's two orders of magnitude better. So let me uh, let me get started by populating this little board here. And once I got that, that populated, what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut the trace. And this shouldn't take a heck of a lot of time. One of the other things I'm going to do when I when I populate this, I'm putting it in a socket initially. Um, I may take it out eventually, just solder the crystal in. But so I'm going to use one of these uh, machined pin sockets here. And what I've got to do is I've got to get out um, four of the pins on each side. Now try one, getting one out is pretty easy. What you have to do is kind of cut the leg off it and then press it out. So I'll, I'll get to that as well. And uh, we'll, we'll come right back once I've got this little board built up. Uh, okay, we got this little board built up. So I've got the socket in there minus the eight or so pins it doesn't need. And um, female header on the back slips down over this male header on the board. And that's parallel with this male header here. So if you ever need to do any program or something like that, you can put your programmer on there without disturbing the system the way it is. So now we need to we need to get it on there and see if indeed we, we get a 3.3 volts between uh, here and here. So let's do that. Well, it fits on there really nice. That's nice and snug. All right, let's uh, power it up. And check for voltage. That's in here and here. Perfect, 3.3 .3 volts. All right, so let's proceed on to the next step and that is cutting the little trace underneath there and attaching the little bit of wire that we're going to bring up to here. So let's do that. So I've cut the trace and uh, rather than actually uh, scrape off some of the solder mask, what I decided to do, let me see if I can get some more light on this. So instead of um, scraping off a bit of the solder mask, I decided to solder onto the back of that resistor there. It gives a much, uh, much nicer place to solder on, much more solid connection and I've trimmed the length of wire. Now all I have to do is solder it into the board, mount the board and solder that into the board. So there it is, all soldered in place there. 
I don't wonder if you can see that. And uh, yeah, we're all ready to go. We have just got to drop the crystal into it, to apply some power, and see if I've destroyed this thing or if we made it better. All right, let's proceed with that. Get my crystal. Make sure I put it in the right way. go and we'll turn it on it seems to be behaving okay let's set up for a frequency 10 megahertz and let's hook it up to the frequency counter Well, that's much better. Well, we haven't fixed it entirely, um, but we've gotten much better. That's not too bad. We're only off by about 75 hertz now. Just taking a look at uh, the new crystal that we put in, it's still a 24 megahertz plus about 1.5 1 hertz. Um, so any uh, the error that we're seeing in this is, is not caused by the crystal, it's been caused by the firmware, you know, whatever they're using to produce the DDS signal coming out. Well, I might be able to open that up and trim it a little bit and get things a little bit more accurate. I know these things don't trim very much, maybe about 10 hertz or so, but that could make a little bit more of an improvement. It's a little bit disappointing, but uh, it, is, it is better. So we have made an improvement rather than uh, making it worse. So this is what we've done. We've, we've improved the time base on this thing so it's more accurate. We can have a little more confidence in what the display here is telling us as far as what's outputting. And we've definitely improved the power supply. So the power supply now no longer has all that leakage, the 49 volts of uh, AC leakage. And we can, we can now we can switch it between ground and, and floating and we reduced the noise significantly. So all in all, I think it's been a worthwhile project. For what I spent on it, I think this power supply might have been around about eight or nine dollars, I'm not sure. I know the crystal was the most expensive part. It ended up costing me about 15 Canadian dollars. And then the other items there, the you know, there's stuff you get on eBay for a few a few cents, like the fuse holder and then the IEC connector with switch assembly. All in all, uh, probably say about $25 worth and a little bit of uh, time. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this. I'm just going to bolt this all back together and put it to use. Thanks, guys. If you like it, please give me a like. If you want to see more of this stuff, subscribe. Tell other people about it. And uh, we'll, we'll see you later. Thank you very much.